Hello traders welcome to my channel, AM Trading Tips. In this video, I am going to be sharing, one of the best and huge profit given trading view strategy, you can use with MACD indicator, that traders are used in almost all markets, day trading crypto, forex and stocks. So let's start. Moving Average Convergence Divergence or also known as MACD is one of the most simple and popular indicators used by traders. Essentially it is a trend following indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages. So let's first apply this to our chart. Now let's start implementing our strategy by heading to the indicators box and the search field type MACD and click on the top one. Now before we start, we first need to know how MACD works. So we can see here that MACD has four components. First of all, we have these two lines notice, the difference between both MACD line and signal line. MACD line moves faster and is more sensitive to price changes, which will be the main focus of MACD indicator. Compare this to the signal line, which reacts slower to price changes, hence giving it more smoothness appearance. Next we have the histogram, which represents the difference between MACD line and signal line. For example, if the line crosses above the signal line the histogram will turn green, and if it crosses below the histogram will turn red. The difference between the MACD line and the signal line also affects the shape of the histogram. As you can see, if two lines are further away then histogram gets bigger. And if two lines come closer the histogram gets smaller. And finally we have the zero line, which simply represents the center of the MACD indicator. Now the way traders use this indicator to identify momentum, is by looking at the crossover between the MACD line and the signal line. Let me show you an example. If the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it indicates that the market is in an uptrend. And if it crosses the bottom, it indicates that the market is only moving downwards. Traders can also use the shape of the histogram to determine the strength of the momentum. If the histogram is getting larger while the MACD crosses above the signal line, it shows us that the upward momentum is stronger. Similarly if the histogram is getting smaller in size, it indicates that the upward movement is weaker. Now let's talk about the strategies that you can use with the MACD indicator. So first of all a common mistake that traders make is that they are using indicators by itself, let me show you why using MACD alone is a bad idea. So here we can see that overall market is only downtrend, although MACD is moving up. So notice how the signals are opposing the MACD, which is indicating a bullish momentum, but the market is only downtrend. That's why you should not use MACD itself, because what MACD is showing us is only short-term momentum, and as traders we also need to take into account long-term trend. As we never want to trade against a trend, and such a simple but high win rate strategy that I recommend. Combining MACD with long-term trend indicator for beginners. Like the 100 EMA, this way, we can trade MACD safely while making sure that we are staying in the same direction of the long-term trend. So this is how you trade strategy. The first step is that you want to identify the long-term trend. Looking at the 100 EMA, if the price is above the 100 EMA, it indicates that the long-term trend is up. And if the price is below the 100 EMA, it indicates that the long-term trend is down. So once you have identified the trend, the next step is that, we want to look for crossovers on the MACD, which shows similar signs of a long-term trend. So in this particular example, we can see that the long-term trend is rising, which means we only take signals when MACD crosses up. So let's move forward what happened next. And so here you want to take a buy trade, for your exit strategy, you can place your stop loss at the nearest swing low or 100 EMA level and set your profit target at 1.5 times your stop loss.
Now let's move forward. As you can see the price gave us profits. So let's look at another example. In this chart we can see that the price is below the 100 EMA, indicating that the long-term trend is down. Now let's move forward to what happened next. Next we have a cross down on MACD, and hence this will be our entry signal to go lower. Now place your stop loss above the nearest swing high and set your profit target at 1.5x your stop loss. Now let's move forward. And as you can see the price hit our profit target, and hence it counts as a successful trade. That's why I have just revealed you MACD strategies with high win rate, that you can use immediately, and in return, I just ask you to like the video for 2 seconds and subscribe to the channel. It really only takes 2 clicks, but it means a lot to me, and you can also watch my other videos. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video and I wish you a good luck, goodbye and happy trading.